Uh, let's talk about how to make fire for raw. So for raw, there is basically two scenarios. The first one is uh, printed with mark, this with uh, these two big black mark. And uh, although this one is raw media, but to the machine actually it's one sheet, two sheet, it's multiple sheet connected together. So let's see how it is made. So the first scenario is if you're reading Kojo, first of all, we can set the size. Uh, I recommend the width, you need a minus 10 because we need add a mark here. You can pre press add mark. Uh, basically that is done, now you can print. And for multiple cards, that is set on machine, not on the computer. So basically that's it, you can print it. And for cut fire, it's also very simple. You just press this one, change to cut mark, and the black part is for cutting. I recommend you to do some outer bleed or inner bleed, it depends. So then after you've done that, you press Ctrl plus E to generate a PAT file. So here I have already created, it's just to replace it. Here, a uh, uniplotter 4012 and in curve resolution 0.001 inch. So that's it. And once here you done, remember the size here, uh, the width matters, the length it depends on your file. So set the same page width and page height, uh, same size as in Kojo, and the page space. Let me explain what is page space. So page space is something like this. So this is the one first page, right? This is the second page. So the page space is somehow like uh, uh, zero. If your printer, after print one file, it will uh, make like uh, some distance between the print to the next file. Then here in page space, you can change it uh, accordingly. So after done that, just uh, uh, drag the PID file inside. So now you can save it to USB disk or you can send it to file. So this is how you cut a uh, file with mark. So what about, what about if we cut uh, without mark? Well, that's simple, the same file. You just uh, delete the mark will be okay. Just delete mark and everything remains the same. Uh, the only difference is how the machine start. Uh, by the way, here you can see in Kojo we actually add mark automatically, right? Actually, you can also add it manually. Uh, you can add it manually. This is the five. The mark is five by five black mark. So this is the file for cut. You can make it up or down. It doesn't matter too much. But just make sure these two marks are horizontal. I mean, uh, because in AI we don't have plugging, so you need to add it manually. That's it. Okay, the first mode is to cut uh, with mark. So you can actually move the carriage by hand or use the action button to move up and down. If it's too fast here, you can press speed to become low speed. So in this case, it will, it will like a, now it's fast, but when you press speed, it will be slow. So anyway, you just uh, move the carriage. It's easier to check from this side. You can see this is like a cross light. You just need to use uh, the middle one, I mean the brightest one, to make it locate on the black wave, okay? Once it's located, here you can see this LED will be off and off. And uh, if it's not on, I mean, if it's not on black mark, the LED will actually be on. So let's just uh, do that again. And then you can press start, will be okay. But uh, now another scenario is cut without mark. I mean, you can print the image inside, but you don't have the mark. In that case, where the carriage stays is where it will go start. For example, now it's stated like here. If you press start, it will start somewhere from here. If you have moved the carriage in the middle, if you press start, it will start somewhere around here uh, because it's based on the sensor. Uh, but uh, make sure don't make it start in in middle because in that way it will hit the left side. So always, if cut blank, always start at the right side, close to the image. And then you can adjust the, every, if the position is not correct, you can adjust the, by adjust this one a little bit. But since it is blank media, it doesn't matter too much.